after flooring her opponents in an impeachment move. All is not well in Meru County after it emerged that MCAs were plotting to paralyze the county government. But Governor Kawira Mongaza says he will not be intimidated by an attempt to impeach eight CECs, three chief officers, and the chief of staff in a bid to create an emergency that will lead to their suspension. The governor said she had received several delegations of people who wanted to collect signatures and push for the suspension of the county, adding that the exercise will begin on Monday. Article 192 of the Constitution states that a county can be suspended in a state of emergency or in other exceptional circumstances if the president is satisfied that such action is warranted. This involves an investigation by a commission of inquiry, which makes recommendation to the president who, if he decides to suspend the county, holds elections after 90 days. A petition to the president must be supported by at least 10% of the registered voters, and with 780,000 voters in Meru County, the petition will need to be supported by 78,000 residents. Ms. Mongaza said after the second impeachment attempt failed, she had received delegations and individuals asking her to ask President William Proto to suspend the county. The governor said she had worked very hard under difficult circumstances to achieve developments which saw her ranked in the top 10 in a recent InfoTrack survey. The governor was speaking as it became clear that her administration was in danger of being paralyzed after 22 residents petitioned the county assembly to initiate impeachment proceedings against 12 executives. The petition details how the officers allegedly abdicated their duties, accusing them of violating various sections of the constitution and the county government act. The petitioners also want 35 of the 38 acting directors to return to their original roles, saying some of them were not qualified to act in those capacities. The officials cited for misconduct include those in charge of critical portfolios, such as health, finance, agriculture, commerce, roads, and the civil service. Is. If the assembly finds merit in the petition, it will initiate impeachment proceeding against eight members of the executive, three principal officers, and the chief of staff and Jambambidi. This means the governor will be forced to go back to the drawing board and recommend new officers to be vetted by a hostile assembly that has twice tried to send her home.